So we use psilocybin mushrooms as a sacrament to connect us to divinity. It is our sincere belief that the consumption of psilocybin containing mushrooms is a communion, which brings us closer to what is commonly called God. We understand this concept as pure consciousness, which permeates all being. This pure consciousness is, we believe, the ineffable source of creation and the origin of health and well-being. Our faith is sacred mushrooms. Our faith in sacred mushrooms stems from prehistorical use by our ancestors and personal experiences of our modern members. It is our belief that psilocybin containing mushrooms are one of the greatest sacraments that nature offers, raising our awareness so that we can access a direct connection to the source of life. We should not be mistaken for a medical or therapeutic organization. We strongly encourage anyone facing trauma, recovery, or mental health issues to work in conjunction with psychiatrists, psycho psychologists, or accredited therapists. Our objective is to help and support you in reconnecting with the universal source of healing, your own divine spirit. Some logistical notes. As we get ready to begin today's service, we ask that you mute your mics if they are not needed already. We want to let you know this meeting is being recorded, which if you have any questions about, you are welcome to reach out to us privately. A portion of this service, we will invite you to journal. So now is a good time to grab a notebook and pen if you'd like to participate in that. Please do, if possible for you, find a comfortable space where you can relax and be present for the service. The service portion of our gathering is around 30 minutes of silent participation on your part, during which time we will have a short meditation, a reading from the Tao Te Ching, a reading from Dry Those Tears, along with an opportunity to journal your thoughts. We'll also read the poem which the church has adopted as our acknowledgement of oneness with all that is titled A Litany of Gratitude. After that, we'll bring the official service to a close. From there, we'll move into an optional discussion period led by Eric today. We have allotted an hour and a half for this portion until noon and do invite you to participate if you feel called to. That being said, if you find that comfortable seat. I'd like to again, thank everyone for joining us in our community of cel in celebration. As we begin our, our statement of faith, we recognize this statement does not exhaust the full extent of our faith. We believe that sacred mushrooms are a primary source of personal and divine revelation. We seek counsel from the mushroom to find direction and inspiration in our faith practice. And we believe that all individuals who seek true revelation from divinity can do so. Now I invite Courtney to lead us in our meditation this morning. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> I invite you now to drop in with yourself for about five minutes. So if you could close your eyes, <clears throat> you may wiggle a little bit, get out any jitters that you have from the morning. Take a few deep breaths in through your nose. out through your mouth. You can place your right hand on your heart and your left hand on your belly. You'd like to connect further with yourself. And just focus on the breath going in and out of the body. Allow any thoughts, feelings, 
and sensations in the body to come up. You notice any areas of tension in your thoughts, feelings, or physical sensations. You can send those areas some breath, help them relax. These areas aren't relaxing easily, that's okay. Just allow them to be exactly what they are right here in this moment. As you continue to breathe, Focus in on finding a safe, calm, and compassionate space inside yourself. You don't have to be concerned with the entirety of yourself feeling safe, calm, and compassionate. Just find an area that encompasses this state no matter how big or small. You can envision this space as a ball of light in the center of your body. And with each breath you take, allowing the ball of light to grow. If you have any areas of tension that you're still noticing, within your body or any places within yourself that are asking for some extra love. You can use this space of calm and compassion which you may be visualizing as light. You can send those areas that need some extra love, some light and compassion. Take a few more deep breaths. Know that you can carry this, this space of calm, loving compassion with you throughout today and tap into it whenever you feel you need it. As we come out of this more relaxed state, Continue on with service. I invite you to offer yourself some gratitude for showing up today for yourself and your community here at Sanctuary. When you're ready, you can wiggle your fingers and your toes. Come back into the space. And open your eyes. <clears throat> Thank you.
Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Courtney. I invite uh, Nancy to help us with our first reading this morning. She's coming. <laughs> Dry those cheers, chapter four. We used to think of eternal life as a state of perfection to be reached through death. We now know that is a present possession. This is a life eternal to know the Lord. In other words, the life we are now living is the only life we shall ever have. It is not snipped off at the end for it has no beginning. This is what Jesus meant when he said, before Abraham was, I am. Life is a circle that is the image and likeness of God. It is coexistent with the creator. Lord, thou has been our dwelling place for all generations. Life did not begin when we were born, nor does it cease when we die. Life is eternal. We live and move and have our beginning in God. Where then do death and birth come in? Birth and death appear only in the relative time plane. They are simply incidents in time. Immanuel Kant wrote, the world's life is only an appearance, a sensatious, a sensuous image of our pure spiritual life and the whole world of sense. Only a picture swimming before our present knowing faculty like a dream and having no reality in itself. For if we should see things in ourselves as they are, which we shall, we should see ourselves in a world of spiritual natures with which our entire real relation neither began at birth nor ends with the body's death. Thanks, Nancy. I now invite everyone to unmute their mics if they'd like and join me during our litany of gratitude when I say we live in all things, all things live in us. We live by the sun, we feel by the moon, we move by the stars. We live in we live all in things. All things. We eat from the earth, we drink from the rain, we breathe of the air. We live, we live in, in all, all things. All things. things. We call to each other, we listen to each other, our hearts deepen with love and compassion. We live, we in, live all in all things. things. All things. All things. All things. All things. All we depend on the trees and animals. We depend on the earth. Our minds open with wisdom and insight. We live, we live in all things. things. All, all things, things live in us. us. We dedicate our practice to others. We include all forms of life. We celebrate the joy of living and dying. We, we live, live in all things. things. All, all things live We are full of life. We are full of death. We are grateful for all beings and companions. Thank you, everyone. If you'd like to mute your mics. And by Alex. Tao Te Ching, chapter 42. Tao gave birth to one, one gave birth to two, two gave birth to three, three gave birth to all the myriad things. All the myriad things carry the yin on their backs and hold the yang in their embrace, deriving their vital harmony from the proper blending of the two vital breaths. What is more loathed by men than to be helpless, little and worthless? And yes, these are the very names the princes and barons call themselves. Truly, one may gain by losing, and one may lose by gaining. What another has taught, let me repeat, a man of violence will come to a violent end. Whoever said this can be my teacher and my father. Thanks, Alex. Now I'd like to take 
a moment to reflect on our Dry Those Tears reading. So if you have that journal with you, we'd like to take about five minutes and experience your spiritual self outside of time or physicality. How do you see and experience your spirit? Connect with your spirit in the quiet darkness behind closed eyes. Perhaps you will encounter visions. Where do they come from? Perhaps it is only darkness. Notice that there is no beginning nor end to this darkness. It neither comes from within you or outside of you. I'll give us five minutes to reflect on that.
All right, if you'd like to take a moment to finish up your thought. We'll begin closing out our service for today. Recognizing we've come together with intentions of service to the land and all its inhabitants. It is in our hearts to go forth into the world with the collective consciousness. We encourage you to stay for continued fellowship and conversation around our readings today. And for those unable to stay, we thank you for being with us. As we further our conversation, please remember that all perspectives are welcome as we search for the spiritual truth that unites us all. Some closing announcements while we're still together. If you've enjoyed the service and or the community conversations afterward, we would love if you could, if you would consider making a donation to help support the efforts of the church. All donations received gratefully go towards current programs, development and implementations of new programs and operating expenses. By donating, you help bring to reality the vision for Sanctuary Church. Our community consists of families and individuals from all walks of life, and it is open to individuals from any faith or background. Our growing list of integration coaches and therapists. If you, like many others throughout history, hold these mushrooms as a sacrament for sincere and intentional spiritual practice and would like to be a part of this community, we invite you to head over to our membership application page and begin the membership process. You should see a link in the chat thread, which we'll post here shortly. Becoming a member is a five-step process, which includes a discovery call with us. Members of Sanctuary Church have access to our growing list of integration coaches and therapists, members only events, including sacrament opportunities, our membership portal, and our members only Discord chat, which is a daily connection with the community. If you would like to support these services by volunteering to read for the group, please send me an email at info at sanctuary.org or you can send a message in our Discord chat, which members have a link to. So with that, thank you everyone. And I'm gonna end our recording.